No more newbie here, in this video I'll be showing you the free and easy way of making your own custom intro for your gaming channel on the PS4 using Share Factory. So if you're a PS4 user and wanting to get better at making your gaming videos or YouTube videos using the free and easy Share Factory app, then this is the channel for you. I've already got tutorials loaded onto the channel and I've got lots more going to be uploaded in the next few weeks. So um, please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss any of those because there's lots coming your way. So, so far um, we have made um, a couple of videos which have shown us how to um, edit on Share Factory and add clips and um, make thumbnails and all those sort of things and upload onto YouTube. But this video is going to be showing us how to um, make a custom intro for our videos. So if you haven't seen the other videos already that have got us to this point, then do consider watching those first and then come um, back to this video and we'll show you how to make the custom thumbnail. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off in Fortnite and we want our intro to be around 8 seconds long. So I'm going to choose an emote that I like. Now I haven't got that many to choose from, but I'm looking now and I'm thinking that this one looks like a good one to get. So I'm going to grab this one. Um, so once we've got that, we're going to go into the settings. And in order to record our intro, we need to go into creative. But within settings, we need to go down, go across the game and then down to replays and record creative mode replays turn that on and then once that is on that will allow us to record in the creative and that will be where we start our um, our recording of our intro so we are going into in, into creative now and then we can choose um, where we on the map we want to land and once we've um, gone into that and we've landed then just choose a background of um, something you like, something that looks colourful, something that um, you want as an intro and then we can start looking at doing all the different emotes than that that um, we might be considering for our intro. So I'm going to just do a few emotes here and see what um, we think. So I'm just doing a few emotes here just to give us some different options just in case we decide to use um, something different to the have a seat one. But uh, here's the have a seat one now. We're just going to let that play out. Now that plays longer than the six six to eight seconds that we want so um, I'll just let it play out a little bit and then uh, once we've done that we're going to leave um, creative and uh, just go to uh, menu there create leave creative and then we're going to then go back to the main menu and go to career and then go to replays and then that's the latest replay we're going to go into that and confirm and then once we are in that we just forward on through until we get to the point where we started doing the emote and so I've just skipped that forward there so we've just got to this point here and then once we do that we've got we press the triangle button to pause the video and then we push the right stick to change the video camera until it gets to drone free and then we can move the camera around to wherever we want it and I've just forwarded there I found the kind of best angle that I thought would look good and then once we're ready to go we press the left stick to get rid of all those icons and then we push double clip on the share to record and that icon just saw come up on the left shows that we're recording so then we push triangle and let the emotes play through and we're just going to let uh, some of these play through to give you an idea but uh, to keep this video a bit shorter I'm not going to play them all through I'm just I'm going to let the video play but I'm just going to skip to the end and here we are at the end and then we're just going to move and then once we've finished we're going to double tap the share button to finish recording so we'll double tap that now and there you go video clip saved and then we can just leave uh, leave creative and go out to the main menu and out of all that and then we want to just come out of there, close the application down for Fortnite. We're done with Fortnite. And now we go into Share Factory and we can start creating the intro um, using the video that we've captured. So we go into a new project and then as usual choose the theme you want um, it doesn't matter they all have an intro outro movie uh, custom stickers and transitions I always use that share factory one and then you can just delete these you see these four that are click 
clips um, ticked here you just want to delete all of those bar one and then we want to go to most recent at the top there and click on that and then we'll find what we've just recorded there and click on that and then we push square to start the project and then once we've uh, yeah that was just happy with that yeah so just push square to uh, start the project and then we go to rename the project and then I do recommend you rename it because once you start doing lots of videos they cut, you start uh, getting lots and you need to know which ones are which so this one we're just going to put new intro dirty docs uh, and we can always change it later on if we want to so it doesn't have to stay as that we can just change it but for the moment that will do continue and then here is what we recorded earlier so that's all our um, emotes playing out there so we've got a 1 minute 9 clip so obviously we need to cut that down but this share factory bit here that was what comes on we don't need that so we can just uh, push square and uh, delete clip confirm delete clip and that gets rid of that for us and I think what we're going to do is use the have a seat one um, that was the new one that we got earlier it makes sense to use it so let's just do that. So we're going to uh, bring this clip. It's eight second clip at the moment. We want it to be six seconds. So the way we do that is just to split it again. So cross to split and confirm the split and then uh, square and delete to delete the bit that we don't want. That leaves us with the six second clip here, which is perfect. So then we want to add text. So we go to cross add overlay and then we are at this page which has uh, stickers and theme stickers and all different things so you can play about with that for making your um, uh, intro to however you want it to be but I think we're just going to use text for this one so click on text and all these different uh, types you can use I'm going to use that one because I just use that for my videos prefer it and then we just start typing so I'm going to put no more newbie in three separate words so no and then transform to move it around to wherever you want you see along the bottom it says different things how to increase the size of it using R1 and R1 you can rotate it L2 and R2 um, but we're just going to move it around with the right uh, left thumbstick to move it to where we want it so we, we're going to just put it roughly where we want it at the moment text duration we want to click uh, and move the left and right thumb uh, sticks to move it throughout the whole length of the clip so that it plays throughout the whole length and then you've got different things you can play about with here opacity is something that if you wanted it to not be so bold you could just have it so if uh, you can see the background through it a little bit uh, I'm going to keep that 100% and then color obviously you could change it to whatever color you want and you've got different uh, things you can do with it here it's just changing it for the text effects so it looks a bit different I'm going to keep it the same um, and then I'm just going to go on to the next word which is uh, more okay so I'm going to just uh, carry on with this uh, and uh, just get this to how we want it so you're not bored watching me do this it's just repeating the same step as we did for no so I'm just going to get roughly the same size and put it roughly where we want it and then I'm just going to just skip ahead and do newbie ready for um, so you're not sat bored waiting for this bit to happen okay and so no more newbie is all done and that absolutely looks fine this is what the clip would look like and we could just leave it like this but I'm gonna just put a animation on as well so if we push uh, cross and then go to text animation and then we can just play about with this and you see the letters uh, the words are all on long left hand side um, it, we do each word on its own annoyingly um, but you just play about with it you can put a beginning animation to whatever you want it to be and an end animation so fade in fade out is what we've done and then you can choose any of these you've got loads to choose from I like the drift uh, so I think we're just going to go for the drift yeah uh, we we'll click on drift and then we just need to do the same for each of the words here so you're just moving up and down to change the word that's highlighted on the left for the one you're going to use so we can complete that and get that done now but I'll just go ahead and complete that now so you're not waiting so that should all be done when we come back okay and then that is it so um, the other thing we're going to do is just check although it's not a huge amount of audio we're going to increase the audio so you push cross and then go along to clip audio move that to 100 percent 
and that just makes it a little bit louder and then we're going to change I want to zoom in a little bit so you can on the same screen you can go to pan and zoom and use um, the controller to just move um, so you're zooming into the clip a bit more so I think I might go a little bit more actually and then you can pan as well so you just move it again using controller move it across to wherever you want it so this is what it should look like and that looks absolutely fine so I think what we'll do is we will keep that as it is there so in order to um, save it what we want to do is push options and then click export to gallery and cross to confirm and then that will save it and it gives us this option to share now we're just going to share later and then that is us done and that is that clip so we exit the project and save project to exit okay saved okay so now whenever we create a new video we've got that as an intro that we can just whack into the uh, video every time we create one so um, just as an example we're going to create a new project here and then we're not going to bother naming it and we've got the share factory intro that we've Seft on there which we obviously we can pretend that's a video clip we want to go to add clip and then we go to most recent and then there it is new intro dirty docs click cross on that and then square to add to clips and there you go that is now embedded in your new video and you can work around it or add it at the end whichever you prefer we're not going to bother saving that we just come out um, so those of you who've seen my other uh, videos on uh, Share Factory tutorials. You know that we were starting with a new um, uh, video of uh, Fortnite Win, and we've edited it and uh, added split clips and all sorts of things. And so, what we want to do is now just add the intro into that project that we were working on. So, I think we're going to put it here. So, you push uh, cross and then we find the clip, we push cross again and square to add clips okay and that's where we wanted it so you, you choose the clip just before where you want it to add and it will put it in after the clip that you was on um, and we need to do a uh, transition here so it looks a bit jumpy here um, but that's then the intro and then it blends into the rest of the video and that is how we put a custom intro into our videos for YouTube clips or YouTube videos or home videos and so you save project exit and then you can work on it later and uh, that is it uh, the next video we're going to do is a custom outro so uh, we're going to go for exactly the same sort of process but we're going to do an outro which will be slightly different and then we can add this uh, to this clip or to this video and then we haven't got a huge amount more to do we we'll probably add some commentary and then we can upload it to video and then you'll have seen the process from start to finish so if you found this useful please do uh, subscribe and uh, turn on notifications I've got a lot more share factory videos coming your way and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it please do comment below on anything you found useful or if you think there should be any improvements or any other share factory videos you want me to do and uh, thanks for watching